Hey, Mauro. Kevin. Look at this gem. What's the story behind this? That's what I got. A little funny story to talk about this. I just finished this nice project here in town. Uh -huh. And uh, when we all done, usually we'll walk around with the homeowners to see if there's anything to do. But she said, I don't see a place that I, this thing will fit anymore. Do you want to take it home? Oh. And I said, I don't know about that. <laughs> but I'm a nice guy. I said, I'll bring it home with me. Yeah. But at home, drop it out. Wife look at it and say, look what I got for you. I said, what is this? <laughs> it's an antique bench. Yeah. It's a All right. And then she said, all right, let's keep it. Uh, oh, so she agreed to keep it. She agreed to keep it. And then I said, maybe we can do like a whitewash paint on it. Nice. And we'll keep it. Well, I'm down for learning how to do whitewash. I've not done it before. I presume there is prep involved as well, though. There's some prep. First thing we're going to do, we're going to heat with the sandpaper, open up the grain a little bit so yep. the whitewash thing can get a good penetration to it. I'll help you sand. Ready to go? So we're definitely not trying to get it down to bare wood. We can leave some of this color on here. We can leave some of that color. That's not a problem. That will actually help us out. It's got a little hatch here, a little storage a little spot. Little storage room right there. This also can, we can also remove that if you like, mm. like that. What do you think? I think it looks good. I think we've done enough sanding already. Yeah. I don't know why they call it painting. They should call it sanding. Yeah. Well, remember one thing is preparation. 85% is prep. I know. Okay. I'm aware. All right. uh, so how do you want to clean this up? Uh, now we're going to do it. We're just going to vacuum up all this dust out. Feel good? All good. It looks, looks great to me. Nice and clean. No dust. All right, now you're going to teach me how to whitewash. Well, let's do this. You're going to love it. Well, Kevin, now we're going to mix the stain that we're going to use to do this work here. So you're going to stain this? We're going to stain that, but yeah. we're going to do a mix. Okay. We're going to mix two parts, two parts of white and one part of light gray. Let's do gray in there. That's good enough. So we got the white and the gray. You can sort of see the contrast right there. It's going to look fantastic. Now. This is the key point. We're gonna add some water to it. We're gonna turn this down so we can call it like a whitewash. Add some water. All right. Now, let's mix and see the viscosity of it. Could you just throw viscosity at me? Viscosity. Good oh, at yeah. you. I mean, look at that. So, as I watched you pour it in there, that was almost like half part water to stain, maybe a little bit more than half water to stain. Is that we, about right? We or? call about, I would say one one. the whitewash, the, the, the base formula for that is like 50 and 50. Yeah. The consistency we're looking for is to be very transparent when we apply into the bench, right? We want to see a little bit of color and uh, a lot more wood. Right. All right, Kevin, I think we're right at the point that this looks very good. It's watery. It's definitely Water, watery. Yeah, it's going to drip and run. No worry about that. Well, let's give it a try. Okay. If we need to make any more adjust, water is right there. Here we go. Ooh, it's a lot of coverage. It's a lot of coverage. We can always adjust. This is the look that we want right there. Right in here. Remember one thing. Once it goes outdoor, it will fade even more. And I'll think one thing too, I like to go back with the rag. Yeah. So I can't wipe some off. At the same time, blend in the finish. So whitewash versus lime wash. Yes. Sometimes they hear them used interchangeably. Are, are they different? Well, they have um, some similar looks once it's done, but the, in the lime wash, you have the limestone powder mixed with the water. But in the, the technique that you use for lime wash is different from this one here. And also the paint brush that you use. What would you use if you were doing a lime wash? With the lime wash, you will use a box brush, which is a thicker brush, and I can show you that. It's this one here. It holds a lot of more material and is for the pattern that you want to have, that's the kind of brush that we use for lime wash paint. In terms of sort of performance, when it's all dried up, 
Differences between how lime wash holds up versus the white wash, which is stain based? It holds up the same way, okay? But the lime wash, usually if you're doing an interior lime wash, you want to put like a sealer coat on top of that. Sealer coat. A sealer coat to protect the finish. Okay. I hear you talk about inside a lot when you're talking about lime wash. Can you use lime wash if you had an outdoor piece? You can, absolutely. You mm. can use lime wash on interior and exterior surface. I'm not going to lie, Mara, this is my kind of painting. It's very forgiving. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. It's easy. There's no cutting line. There's no, there. there's Why no is cutting there's line. paint here? There's nothing here. But just see the look that we have here in the front? It's perfect. If you see a little more paint here, that's fine. It's yeah. part of the patina. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, once it goes outdoor, everything will fade. It really? will blend even more. I feel like a third grader. I can put it on in any pattern I want. <laughs> I can wipe it off. Anybody ask for a paint job, say, well, Whitewash paint is the best way to do it. <laughs> I only whitewash. Wow, here you go. Yeah, so it definitely like takes this. on a different color as it dries and sets up. Look at this. Put your seat back right see, there. Once it dries, we can see the look that we, uh, we want it. We see gray, we see white, we see wood, we see it all. Uh, so are you happy with this? I'm super happy, I'm really happy. And this thing is ready to go back home. Beautiful, he's gonna love it. All right, a nice cushion in there. Sit down, relax, perfect. Good deal, all right. All right, we're good, thanks for your help. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.